so it is the end of the month, which means it's time for monthly favorites for the month of September. So um, I guess I will go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm going to start off with kind of the biggest thing, and I'm not really going to talk about it a whole lot just because it's kind of overdone in my opinion, um, but this is something that I recently got and I was definitely behind everyone in getting it, but I finally decided to fork over the money and get it and I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it all month and I'm actually wearing um, a lot of the colors right now. So that would be the Naked palette. Um, there's not a lot to say that hasn't already been said. It's got a beautiful array of really um, nice colors all the way from you know really dark smoky colors to really light nude colors. So I have been loving this this month. And it was definitely worth the $50. Um, my next favorite is amazing and if you read my blog um, I posted um, a favorite yesterday and this was it and it is the Maybelline eye studio gel liner and this is in the shade blackest black um, but it is absolutely gorgeous it's just you know a black gel liner um, but I absolutely love it because I think it was like seven dollars and I think it is just as good as my Bobbi Brown gel liner as well as my Mac black track gel liner I absolutely love this um, I've had this for a while but um, for the fall months I've been really um, doing a lot of winged liner and really strong bold liner um, which is a trend that I'm absolutely loving so um, I think this is such a great gel liner for the price I think it is just as good as the high-end high brands and it also came with this little brush if you can see the tip um, and I I mean I got the gel liner and I was like well I could try out the brush but I'm really not you know if it doesn't work it doesn't work but actually I really really like this brush I usually use um, my Mac 266 um, angled brush or let's see what other brush do I usually use um, well, I can't find it right now, but I have another pointy brush that I like to use. But this is really good. Like, if you just want to go buy this and you don't have a gel liner brush or a really fine-tipped brush, this works really, really well. So I've actually been using this. I've been choosing this over my MAC brush. So love, love, love this. I definitely recommend this to everyone. If you're looking for a really good liner, Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner is amazing. Um... The next two products um, are something that I've raved about so many times, um, but these two specific colors are um, two colors that I've been wearing this whole month, and I absolutely love them. And they are the Maybelline um, Color Tattoos. Um, they're just cream shadows, and the two colors that I've been wearing are Toughest Taupe and Bold Gold. And I'll show you what the taupe color looks like. And I absolutely love using these as bases. Um, I think they help the shadows really pop that go on top, as well as last longer. So that's tough as taupe. And you can also wear them um, by themselves. They're absolutely gorgeous by themselves as well. And this is bold gold. And the tough as taupe is a matte color, and this is a very, very shimmery color. And I've used this in a few tutorials, um, but I absolutely love these two colors for the fall. Um, another really good one is bad to the bronze, which I also love as well. But these two I've been wearing um, the most this month. Um, another favorite um, is something that I recently bought at the beginning of the month and I bought it with my Naked palette um, from Ulta. And I've been wanting this for a really, really long time, but I just never got it and so I finally just did it and it's super affordable and it is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and if you watch any of my videos um, I use this to apply my foundation as well as my concealer I absolutely love this brush it is super super dense and really dirty right now because I just did my makeup um, it's morning right now so I just got ready um, but this is absolutely beautiful um, it's by Samantha Chapman and if you watch Pixie Woo here on YouTube um, it's Sam and Nick, and Sam is the one who came out with the um, the brush line. These are absolutely amazing. They're so affordable. This was $8.99 at Ulta. Um, I think they range anywhere from $8 to $12, depending on what brush you get. But they're really affordable, and they're really, really great brushes. So I highly recommend these. And you can get them at Ulta. You can buy them straight offline. Um, they sell them on Amazon, but I think they're a little more expensive on Amazon. Um, but I definitely recommend that recommend these brushes as well and especially this specific brush this is absolutely amazing I love it all right so a nail polish that I'm loving this month I usually don't do nail polishes I'm not a big nail person I mean I like to wear nail polishes obviously but I'm just really not a big nail person I don't get excited about nail polishes but this nail polish 
I love. I got this in my My Glam bag. And it is this gorgeous, bright, neon fuchsia color. And it is by Andrea's Choice, who is a fellow YouTuber. Um, and she's a beauty guru. And she came out with her own line nail polishes called Circus by Andrea's Choice. And this is in the shade Tightrope. And I love this nail polish because it's matte. It dries matte. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've never had a matte nail polish before. I've tried them before, but I've never owned one. So I absolutely love this color. And it is so gorgeous. The color is really 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 pigmented you only need like one coat maybe two um, but usually I just do one coat and it looks great and it dries super super fast um, another favorite that I have is something that I bought um, towards the middle of the month and I d never thought I would buy this product I wasn't really into um, into this kind of product um, at least the American versions and it is um, the Garnier BB cream I'm a really really big fan of Asian BB creams um, but I wasn't really I wasn't really, um, I guess, thrilled with all the American BB creams that have come out. I wasn't impressed. Um, but I'd heard so many good things about this, and one of my friends um, suggested that I buy this. So I thought I would just go ahead and buy it. It was a little bit pricier than a normal foundation. <clears throat> it was $12, um, which isn't too bad. I mean, the BB creams can range anywhere from, you know, $12 to, you know, $40. So I thought I would just go ahead and try it. And I actually really, really like it. Um, it does leave my skin a little bit more oily, so I do have to set it with a translucent powder. But I love this um, foundation for just kind of an everyday on the go. Like if I just want a little bit of coverage, um, I like to put this on. So I really like this. I have a whole blog post on this as well as a video um, demo slash review of this product so I will link both of those down below if you'd like to see that but I really really like it I think it's worth the money if it was more expensive I don't think I would purchase it but I think I think it's definitely worth the money first the powder that I like to set it with is the Rimmel stay matte um, pressed powder this powder is absolutely amazing and it's got these little scratches in it um, just ignore that I accidentally uh, hit it on something um, but this is an amazing powder it doesn't give any coverage well at least for me it doesn't I don't find that it gives any coverage but it's just a really nice setting powder and I'm in the shade nude beige and what I do I just take my little kabuki brush and after I put on my BB cream or I even use this with my regular foundation as well so I'll just swirl it around and um, blot it on my t-zone and it's really really great setting powder um, it does exactly what it says it's stay matte so it really leaves your your face with a really nice matte finish which is why I like to use it with my BB cream um, because my BB cream does leave me a little bit more oily and it doesn't give coverage which I really like as well because with my BB cream I don't want a lot of coverage so um, I really like this it doesn't leave your face cakey and I think it was just a few dollars um, at the drugstore so I highly highly recommend this powder so I guess um, last but not least in terms of beauty products um, I have a lip product and it's actually what I'm wearing right now and this is max matte lipstick in the shade taupe and I've used it so much I absolutely love this color it's just a really really nice um, tannish brown you know taupe color um, I absolutely love this for the fall. Um, it's really easy to apply. You just kind of throw it on. It makes it gives your lips a little bit of color. Um, it's a really, really it gives your face a really nice polished look, um, which I really like. And I like that it's matte. It's not really shiny, so um, it's very easy and it's just kind of a good all-around color. It goes with everything, and um, I really, really love this color. I've had this for a really long time, and I didn't wear it all summer or spring, but now you know I've been wearing it a lot, and um, I'm almost out. But but this is an amazing color and I highly recommend it um, and I'm, I'm really a big fan of matte lips so that's why I love this product so much so I do have one more favorite for this month it's not a well it's not a beauty item technically um, but it's something that I'm super super excited about and I've been using all month obviously um, but I want to show it to you but I have to turn you around to see it so this is my last favorite for the month I am so excited I finally got a vanity um, and I got this off of Amazon but I know they sell it on eBay as well so I will link those down below um, if you are interested but I am so excited um, it's the perfect size for me I didn't want anything too huge because it is in my bedroom um, but it's really nice because it came with a stool which I'm probably going to reupholster because I'm not a really big fan of the uh, fabric but um, I'll do that later and then um, it comes with a drawer right here and then it's got this pretty 
good size space and then it has the trifold mirror which I absolutely love so um, anyway I am so excited about this vanity and if you would like a vanity tour or like kind of see how I organize my makeup and things like that um, please comment below I don't want to make a video unless y'all want to see it um, so anyway if you would like to see that please let me know and then over here um, this is where I keep all of my makeup in this little jewelry armoire. Um, I haven't really found a better storage um, for this, so I've just been using this, and I really, I actually really like it. And then um, on top of here, I have my jewelry holder that I made, and then I have this little perfume tray that I made as well. But um, I'm just using it right now under my under my uh, jewelry thing. So anyway, yes, this is my last favorite, and it is. I know I said my naked palette was probably the biggest one, but this is actually probably the biggest one. I absolutely love it. And again, I will link this down below if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm having all of my camera. But thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you have any favorites that you've been loving this month and you want to share them with me, please comment below. I'm always looking for new products to try and things like that. So thank you again. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.